Hi, this is DH Dunn, and welcome to Oblivion. So, this is a, a new series that I'm starting up, and uh, I will talk about uh, my rationale and, and what I want to work on and everything here. But this, uh, for an introduction, this is a open world, uh, let's not have this movie. Uh, this is an open world RPG. And uh, I have pre-started a character, and there's a reason why I have it set up this way. So I'm going to get into the game, and then I'll explain what we're doing. So Oblivion, uh, many people might be familiar with. It is the game before Skyrim, which uh, turned out to be a uh, very, uh, very, very popular, very well-known open-world RPG. And uh, I'm playing this as Odenzia from uh, Shades of the Sea. So let's take a look at her. So let's get up to the, uh, here we go. So here she is, there's Odensia. She's an Imperial Mage and she's an Aether Mage, which is a custom class that I built myself. And this is supposed to represent Odensia, who is a 17 year old uh, main character for Shade to the Sea. And uh, she's a co-main character with Taviano, who also is getting his own series. Uh, I'm getting very close to launching Shades of the Sea and so I'm shifting my um, streaming content to better focus on that book. Um, very briefly, I will touch on the existing series that I have going. Um, I had Dragon Age, uh, Dragon Age with uh, Nima. I had Stranded Deep with Drew, both of those characters from Fractured Everest. And uh, I had uh, The Long Dark with Alex Queen. I thought Alex Queen was the next book I would be writing. Uh, I'll get into probably a little bit later why she isn't. Um, she's still coming, but it may not be this year. And since uh, my new schedule has me focusing on Shades of the Sea for the first half of this year, I wanted to start paying attention to those characters. So Oblivion has a story that you can ignore, and that's what we're going to do. Instead, we're going to run things kind of like those old 80s uh, TV shows, Knight Rider, MacGyver, um, A-Team. She's going to go into little towns and see what's wrong and see if she can make things better. We'll gain levels along the way. Just get into whatever trouble this game throws at us. The, the amount of content in this game is extraordinary. Um, it is an older game. The graphics will look older. The gameplay is older. There are some exploits to this game. I'm not an expert Oblivion player. You're going to see me do a lot of dumb stuff. But uh, I'm going to have a good time, so let's get into it. Um, right now, she has just escaped prison. There's where she came out of, right there. And we have the whole world in front of us to do whatever we want. And uh, while this is an older game, this just came out on uh, Game Pass for Xbox, which is what I'm playing it on. And uh, so I kind of get it for free. Not really. I'm paying a monthly Game Pass subscription, but... Game Pass is totally worth it. Uh, you get so much great stuff on Game Pass, and it's getting better all the time. So I'm just going to pick a direction, like this one, and uh, we'll head that way. We can do third-person view, but I'm not going to. Um, not often. Let's see. There's her. There's her weapon. She can. We. She can make a very awkward, dopey-looking jump. And this is probably the first thing we'll fight. Is this crab here? I'm. Kind of surprised it's not fighting me already. There it is, it found me. Maybe hit it with a fireball or whatever the spell is called. And uh, one more hit should do it. Yep, it's dead. But let's pick it up because we can cook with this. There's a whole alchemy. There's so much in this game now. I played this game with my boys when they were boys. Now they are both men. I played this game a long time ago when it came out and I had a blast. And I'm very excited to try it again. I don't remember a lot. And uh, I know Skyrim much better than I know this game. So I'm sure to make some mistakes. But that's part of the fun, is just finding your own... Finding your own adventure. And it may be an older game, but I still find this scenery quite pretty. Oh, a stupid wolf. Okay, so primarily we're going to be using spells with Z. Um, and... I would like to get the ice magic, which is more thematically appropriate. Um, Z does use magic in the books, but it is uh, cold based. That makes her unusual. Most of the 
magical characters, Aether Mages, in the books uh, use fire magic. So I'd like to uh, get her to that as soon as we can. But we probably need a, um, a town. I don't want to go to the main town. I want to find something else. Um, I'm trying to stay away from the main quest and the main area until something we discovered brings us there. But I'm interested in this tunnel here. I wonder where this goes. City Sewers North Exit. Interesting. So, so much of this game you can pick stuff up. Like all these bottles, you can pick them up. Some cheap wine, we could probably sell that. Some mead. Can you open this? Uh, we could. Uh, it has to be unlocked. We have 17 lock picks, but we w it's a hard difficulty. All we'd end up doing is breaking all our lock picks. I don't want to do that. I'll take that ale. That's it, though. Can we grab these shelves? Yep, it's amazing. Oh, you can open them. Wow. The amount of stuff. The amount of detail. Now, if I was playing this on PC, there's any number of mods that would increase its uh, graphical fidelity. But, you know, it wouldn't be on... Uh, well, I guess it is on Game Pass for uh, Windows as well. But uh, I am doing a little bit of PC streaming. In fact, I may be doing something tonight... But I do like playing on Xbox and, you know, just hanging out on my recliner and just seeing what I run into. Now, here's another crab. I'd like to find a town or something, a little village that we could maybe talk to some people. But for now, we're just walking around. I like open-ended games. I like things where you're kind of making up your own decisions as to what you want to do. This, uh, the, the mini map, or the, excuse me, the um, compass there seems to indicate there's something in this direction. It looks like this fort, perhaps. We could check that out, see who's there. Look at this sky. I mean, that's gorgeous. I don't care how old this game is. That's a pretty sky. These flowers and everything. In fact, I played a lot of Skyrim, but I have to say I, I find some of this prettier than Skyrim. Because Skyrim's color palette is very gray gray and white now the music changed which means something is coming to kill me but, oh there it is oh, it's just this thing another crab oh got a shot in where is it <laughs> it's lost in the grass all right very well then so our goal today is to find a goal <laughs> you can see a skill increase there, the athletic skill. You you level up by doing things. The more you do something, the faster you level up in it. That's It's a, a completely exploitable system. I don't intend to exploit it. You could just, you could run around the world, uh, for example, excuse me, uh, please put that away, thank you. Just jumping. You could just jump, 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 and you'll level your athletics up faster, but you know, I'm not looking to beat the game. I'm looking to have fun with the game. Another stupid wolf. Seriously, guys. But by using all this magic, we are increasing our magic skill. We should probably be looting these. My kids and I used to call this the Bliv. And, uh... Oh, okay. Well, here's something interesting to look at. And a road sign, too. Let's take a look at the sign. I see someone standing there. Imperial City. I don't want to go there. Maybe this person will talk to us. Oh, no. They're not going to talk to us. Come on, man. Everybody doesn't have to be mean. All right. That's it for you. Oh. All right. Let's, uh... Whoa, where'd my sword go? Let's try some sword action. Ah. All right, we got him with our not very coordinated attack. So I'll take the arrows because I don't need the bow, though. I should drop that. 
Let's look at our inventory. So some of these things I picked up during the tutorial mission, which I did not uh, show you because it's completely focused on, um, let's put these better pants and armor on. Uh, the tutorial mission is focused on the main story. So I, I, I went through it. Oh wait, we need pants. Good grief. Let the girl have some pants. Give me those pants. I like how they're neatly. Okay, maybe somebody here will have some better pants. This, uh, this unfortunate woman here. Got any pants? You have coarse linens. I don't know that that's any better than what I have. All right, well, you guys were willing to kill me to keep me from getting to this uh, place here. I was going to say she has a bow. Um, right there. And she's got her magic. And she's got a healing spell. So we'll heal up. Those uh, bars on the bottom left there, uh, red is health, blue is mana, green is stamina. All right, can you put that away? Thank you. Let's see what we got going on in here. All right. Hello. Um, nothing there. We could sleep. Don't need to, though. Uh, what's in the sack? Food? You can eat food to uh, heal yourself in fights, and it's actually quite comical. You can carry around, you know, all these, like, wheels of cheese and stuff, and then... Oh, this is interesting. A door to the end. Ooh. All right. Well, I have no idea what this is. Is there a map that we can look at? I don't know. Hang on. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Um, I didn't know we knew all these spells. Minor life detection. Can I hotkey that to, like... Whoa, whoa, cold touch? I want that. Wait, 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 wait. Give me that back. Now we're on the wrong thing. Sorry, I gotta learn the controls here. Hotkey. I want cold touch to be... All right, so will that work? Let's see. Did it work? No. Let's put cold touch down. Okay, and then let's put the bow here. No, that is the bow, not uh this bow. There we go. Okay, do we have it out? No. Take the bow out. What happened? There we go. Oh, I heard somebody. Now we can sneak. Coming from my left speaker. I vaguely... Nice. Double damage. Oh, that was nice of them to freeze for whatever reason. Well, <laughs> seems like we've hit a bug here. How about a headshot then? I mean, that's good old, good old Bethesda always has a lot of bugs. Oh, he's healing. Whoa, he completely healed. Oh, he woke up. Nope. One more. Nice. <laughs> oh boy. Never change, Bethesda. All right. Uh, 15 year old game still has bugs. It's awesome. All right, let's uh, take the torch out and let's switch to uh, the sword. Equip would be a Kanjo. Okay, right. 
Okay, we're not attacking anymore now. Can I do it? Yes, there we go. There. Now we can see better. Alright, what do we got here? I mean, we could sell these. I can't see her using them. Whoops. How about some pants? Pants. Very important. Pants. Whoops. How about you? I'll take this potion. Some block picks. Arrows. It's all good. Let's put these pants on. Um, inventory, inventory. Pants! They're kind of better. They still look kind of stupid. Well, this is thing. Lock level average. Oh, there's someone in there. We switch to the uh, bow. Let's see if maybe we can get some good damage. One more. Oh, he shoots back, but now he's dead. We might not be. Yeah, I hear someone else. I don't see them though. I want this crystal. I don't know why, I just do. It's glowing. Can we loot him? Maybe if we can find him. Hmm. We'd want our torch out. See if I can see who else. It was two people talking. Okay, here we go. One of them's an archer. Let's see if we can get the head. We didn't. This could be bad. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, let's uh, switch to Cold Touch. Wow, that worked good. Nope. You will know freezing. That worked great, actually. Uh, we'll take our arrow back, thank you. I don't think I want the rest. Oh, I might want these gauntlets, actually. Okay, how about you? What do you got? Some lock picks. Take those. All right, now we can see this guy. Get 18 arrows. Definitely take that. Green pants? I'll take green pants. Switch to the green pants. Well, that's interesting. No, that looks dumb. All right, let's get more of these crystals here. I don't know what they're for. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, that guy's really blind. He totally did not see this person walking around with a torch. Switch back to the bow. Back to stealth. I see him in there. He's not very observant. I enjoy a little sneaking around. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Whoop, whoop, nope. Don't don't want that. Okay, we wanted our cold. There you go. Into him. That's basically been my combat strategy in this and Skyrim, is just back away. <laughs> now what were you working on over here, buddy? Nothing. Just just having some lunch, I guess. I mean, even, even in a, uh, you know, crazy uh, ruined temple, you, you still get hungry. All right, well, we're finding our way through this here. 
wasn't my plan. My plan was to find a town. And, uh, okay, I think we can try this one. Nice. Seven gold. Make sure you lock that up. Don't care about that. This might be it. We might have cleared this place out. There may be some story, story or something that's focused on this place. I'm going to keep taking these stones. But uh doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So we will uh, take Z. So let's talk about Z a bit. So Z uh, is short for Ardenzia. And she is one of the two main characters of Shades of the Sea. She is a seven-year-old um, young woman who uh, her father is a basically a detective in a city that is made up of ships that are lashed together out in the uh, harbor of Catania. This is in 1600s Sicily, an alternate world. There was a basically a magical apocalypse, and now people can't live on the land anymore. And uh, Z is um, an Aether Mage, and so she has ice powers. And let's uh, let's let her heal here. She does not have healing powers in the book, but she's got them here. And I would like to drop the torch, please. Well, don't drop it. You, you can drop these pants, though. You're not wearing them. And let's... Uh... Uh, I don't think we need this dagger. I don't think we need the crap bow. We were going to put those on. That looks nice, actually. I'm into that. And let's... Uh... Torch, torch, torch. Come on, Torch. Where are you? Torch. Turn it off. Okay. So what I wanted was a town. So you know what? We're just going to keep walking. That is... That's what you do in these games. To me. That's what I do in these games. You check out the sunset. And uh, you put your fists away because you don't want to you know, always look like you're itching for a fight. So I don't want to be out in the wilderness at night, though. So I guess maybe I am going to head back towards the big town there. I'll just take a nice swim across the ocean. Or the, the ocean. The lake. See if we can find somewhere to stay. First, got to find a way in. Oh, mud crab. You don't need to fight me. I'm not here to bother you. What's this? Clams. A flawed pearl. Awesome. I see some more clams underwater there. Another flawed pearl. I think there's jewel crafting in this game. I mean, there's just... There's just an astonishing amount of uh, stuff in here. And a, you know, day-night cycle. I think there's a weather cycle. I could be wrong about that. Look at that. You can't tell me that's not pretty. Come on. And right now, who doesn't want another world to just go to? And that is a lot about what Shades of the Sea is about, actually, is people in a very desperate and grim situation hoping for another, a way to make things better. Okay, I hope this is leading me to something. I mean, you know, graphic-wise, you know, back there, that's not too great, but you can fill in with your imagination. That's what we used to do <laughs> back when you had a guy that was a square of, like, eight pixels, and you're like, okay, this is a guy. You just gotta pretend. All right, so what is this? Where does this go? Imperial City Prison District. Well, since we just escaped from prison, we probably shouldn't go to the prison district. You would think they would guard these entrances, but, you know, I guess not. Imperial City Market District. Well, sounds like maybe we could find uh, a place to stay there. 
Maybe this fine person could tell us hello. How can I be of service? Well, 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 you could not walk away when I'm talking to you, for one thing. Okay, by, by staying put. I am looking for somewhere to stay. Where can I sleep? Can you speak up a bit? The music's a bit loud. Merchants in in the market. All right. Thank you. Merchants in. Now there's got to be a way to get a map. I'm pressing everything now. Um, wait. RT, RT. Here we go. Let's see. Deep, 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 deep map. Local map. Okay. Whoa. What's this? Backhurst Courier. Office of Imperial Commerce. Best defense. All right. Maybe the map fills in as we go through things. This is the... The copper... The copious coin purse. This is the first edition. Okay. Copious coin purse does not sound like a uh, inn. Sounds like somewhere we could either bank or possibly... Here, Merchant's Inn. Here we go. All right. All right. Hello. Yes. <laughs> uh, I would like to sleep, please. For 20 gold a night. Would you like to rent it? Is that a lot? <laughs> Very good. It's up the stairs there. First door do I have 20 gold? <laughs> I guess we do. Goodbye. Okay, wait, where where is it? I wasn't listening. Okay, up the stairs. I heard that part. Do 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 do. Uh, this door is unlocked. Here are the rooms. Okay. That one. That one's locked. That one's locked. So this one must be our room. Wow. Nice. A little cupboard here. A table. Whoa. All kinds of food, too. And we can't take the plate, but we can take the food. We can eat the food. That's kind of neat. And what's over here? A book. We can read it. I'm not going to. But we can. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a, let's see, 7 p.m. I want to get up at 7 a.m. Let's rest for 12 hours. Take a drink. And I bet we can ask that bartender, innkeeper, some kind of rumors or who's looking for help. Let's look at our inventory quickly. I just want to know how much money I have. Uh, if I'm reading this right, I have 36 gold. That's not very much. Maybe we can sell something? If a room is 20, we don't have enough to stay in a room another night. Alright, who's in the, uh... Anyone in the lounge? Nope. What's down here? Don't go there. Alright. Ooh, a wanted poster. Wanted. The Gray Fox. Interesting. Height between five and six feet. Jeez. It's very specific. Anytime now. Yep. Yes. Um, oh, and now we can ask him about the Gray Fox. Well, what do you know about the Gray Fox, buddy? Oh. Hmm. How about some rumors? About the assassination, of course. Here, take my copy of the new Black Horse Courier. Go and keep it. Okay. Um, thank you, I guess. The persuade, barter. Alright. So, no jobs from this guy. 
Come on, man. I'm looking for somebody who needs some help. Got to get my A-team on here. Black Horse Courier. That's the paper he just gave me. A fighting chance. Locked. Probably hasn't opened yet. Red Diamond Jewelry. Locked. The Feed Bag. It's open. Who's eating at the Feed Bag? Nobody. Feed Bag, not, not very popular. Ooh, the Arena. Look at that. That's sharp looking. All right, um, my friend. Whoa, no, I didn't steal anything. Where are you going? Put there you the are. I'm <laughs> we got food and drink. Yes. Lots of, Lots of it. I love it. Uh, what do you think of the Imperial City there, my green Look, friend? It's big. See, really big. Only way to learn it is to walk it. Look at everything. Talk to everyone. Okay. If you need to get rid of something quickly, check out the copious coin purse. Okay, that's good. That's good, because I, I do need to sell some stuff. Well, wait, what? don't you want to sell me something? What do you mean, what? What can I interest Barter. Okay, this is Haggle. I want to sell. I don't want to buy. Is this my stuff or his stuff? This has got to be his stuff. Okay. How do I switch to me selling? This is my stuff. Yes. So you want to buy any of these things? Like, how about this potion of sorcery? That's a fair deal. I mean, yeah, we just doubled our money right there. Alright. See you later, Greeny. Oh, wait, what's your actual name? Delos Fandaz. Alright, Delos. You just, you know, keep it real. Uh, fighting chance. We check that emergence in. You know, for a city... Not a lot of people. <laughs> kind of thought there would be a copious coin purse. There we go. Every single one of these places is empty. What kind of deal? Look at this guy. <laughs> he looks like a regular guy that they squashed down. I don't uh, how about some rumors? Cyril drives a harder bargain than Palinuria at Divine Elegance. Okay. Great. Offer the finest goods and lowest prices in oh, okay. Got some clothes here. Imperial breeches. With a constant effect. Look at the price. <laughs> We're not buying anything. We're going to have to sell. So will you buy... Um, I guess I don't really have a lot worth selling. Oh, uh, these things. Will you buy these? Geez, I only get one gold for a pearl? But if he's going to give me eight... Yeah, look at that. Money. Okay, how about a gold nugget? Sell that. Uh, this topaz. Sapphire. Pearl. Pearl. Another sapphire. Silver nugget. Silver vase. Wolf pelt. There we go. What do we got now? 294? All right, maybe we can find, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can find somebody who sells us some better, uh, better spells. Whoa. The bus just showed up and dropped everybody off. <laughs> yeah, hey, how about a job? Ooh. That is exactly accurate, actually. Persuade. What do I have? What happens if I persuade him? Uh, no, I'm not into this. No, 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 no. I remember this stupid thing. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Goodbye. Goodbye. No Fine. Could... What? What a dumb joke. <laughs> Can we be done? Whatever you want. Are you serious? Done. Thank you. Go away. Leave me alone. Astinia Atius. I want no part of the Sintav Atius squabbles. I mind my own business. Well, you know, it's it's good to share about that stuff. What do you know about the Grey Fox? He's that wanted criminal. Isn't he a master mm. thief? I hear he's dangerous too. 
I heard that the beggars spy for him. <laughs> Do you know you have a guy standing right behind you? <laughs> Good day. Morning. What's going on with you? They can't. They, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm so fascinating. They can't, everyone can't stop I'm looking at me. I am Gimelus Axius, Earl Jackman's manservant. Okay. Well, I didn't know I was visiting. <laughs> I'm just walking around the city, buddy. Um, Anyone looking for work should consider the fighter's guild. Fighter's guild. Anyone looking for work should consider the fighter's guild. Okay. All right. Well, that's the first good piece of information I've received here. Um, well, I was through talking to you two as well. There's no need to be rude about it. Uh, hey, staffs, though. Spells. Edgar's discount spells. Edgar, you are my man. All right. Edgar. What's up? Edgar Vautrin. You don't want the very best. You want cheap. And I get cheap. <laughs> Edgar, you know me too well. You really do. Buy spell. For the finest goods and lowest prices in all okay. Well, we can definitely afford some of these. So let's see. Um, bound dagger. I assume that summons a dagger. That's interesting. Burning touch we already have. Or we have something. Oh, that's on touch. Snowball. That's what we want. Frost damage. Absolutely. Give it to me. Yes. All right. Now, do we have it? Um, let's go to magic. We do not appear to have it. So is it a scroll? Do we have to read it? Wait. There it is. Hockey. Hockey that to the top. Okay. And you don't mind if I test this out here, do you, buddy? Look at that, huh? Pretty cool, huh? What if I did it over here? You're okay with that. What if I broke this beaker? I didn't. Alright, man. I'm gonna roll. Yes. Alright, we got ourselves a spell. Divine Elegance. Okay, what about some of these other districts, though? Um, let's check that map. So, whoops. This goes to Imperial City Elven Gardens District. Right stick is control map. Okay, good. Good, good, good. The City Isle. Imperial City Green Emperor Way, but what's what's all the way down the street here? We don't know. Let's find out. The arena. Might be a good way to earn some cash there, but what about stabs? I bet they're expensive. Um, hey, whoa, customers. Dude. Yeah, Your get over here. Stops, and I'm I sell Shocking. Stops. Imagine that. Yes. Um, barter. Holy cow. Price. Well, we won't be buying any stabs today, will we? I should say no. Okay. So, see you later, Brindav. We'll be, we'll be back when we have some money. And are we, are we still headed down the street the way I wanted to go? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yes, we are. Hello. Do you know our Hello. How are you? Red diamond jewelry. Where's this gonna go? Arena District. Whoa, seriously. I mean, we're looking for work. The arena probably pays. Hello there. Welcome to the arena. I don't think I've ever seen you around here before. I know all the regulars, believe me. If you're okay. going to join the arena as a combatant, you need to head down to the Bloodworks and talk to Owen, the Blade Master. Sure, yeah, yeah. You're not to bet on a fight, on the other hand. No, You're talking no. To the right man. There are matches all day long, from 9 a.m. Nope. to 9 p.m. 
That's a lot of chances to kill your first with a coin. So what do you say? You want to bet on a match? No, square head guy. Oh, no. All right. Very well then. If um, if you need anything, yep. please just yep. ask. I'll be happy to take your bet if you change your mind. You seem extremely sketchy. Have a good day now. Can I talk to the uh I want to talk to the dude. There we go. Yeah. How's it going? You're not the guy. Where's the guy? <laughs> Are you the guy? And who in Shinji's name might you be? Look, if you're a spectator, go upstairs and talk to nope. the gatekeeper. This ain't nope. no damn peep show. And if you're one of those idiots who thinks they have something to prove in the arena, go over and talk to Owen. Okay, talking to Owen. That's the plan. Oh, over here. Here he is. I must visit. Owen. I don't know who you are, friend. But you've got about ten seconds to tell me what you're doing in my blood. Wow. Before I lop your arms off. Um. You what? You want to be a combatant? <laughs> Look at you! My granny could beat you, and she's dead. Hey. Serious, aren't you? What is it with you people? You walk in, want to be combatants, and your entrails end up decorating my red room. All right, it's your funeral. Walk okay. Yeah, yeah. Pit dog. Whoa. Free to fight so long as you know the rules of competition. Now let me give you your battle raiment. It's the uniform of all arena combatants. Do you okay. Want a light raiment or a heavy raiment? Uh, light, please. Light raiment, huh? You sure? I figured you for the heavy raiment type. You know, hide behind a skin of steel. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, then. Here. Put that on. See if it fits okay. When you're ready for a match, I'll be waiting. You want to fight? All right. You talk to me. So I think we'll do right. one match with this, and assuming we live. Um... Yeah, Let's put our uh, our little armor on here. Oh, good grief! It looks ridiculous. But you haven't run home to Mama yet, huh? Nope. That's a good sign. So, uh, technically, Z's mother is dead, so that's not an option. Let's go. Ready for a match. Looks like you're suited up in your battle range. Like you don't have to be mean to people though. The red room is be inspiring. When you're ready to get eviscerated, just head up the ramp to the arena. Good luck. And may Azura have mercy on your soul. Yeah, this could go bad. <laughs> this this could be very bad. Um let's see. Up. Head up. Excuse me. Pardon me. Head up. Well this goes up. No, I don't think that's where we go. Stop talking. Uh, nope. <laughs> Wait. This looks promising. I hear crowds. Yep, here we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are we doing? Um, let's... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, wait. Which, uh... Okay, that's the one we want. Okay. Okay, of course, they're going to run straight at me. Ow. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, whoa, she healed. That's not fair. We're out of mana, too. Ow. 
And the crowd goes wild. Trying to get my mana back. Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, I missed. Ooh, nice shot in the leg. Oh, shit. Oh, see that right in the face. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First star, victory loop. Dun, 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 We are the winner. That's right, blue team forever. Whoops. Smacked into the pole. All right, what do we get for that? That's going to be like thousands of gold. Always going to hit this thing on the way out. There we go. Down the stairs. <laughs> Hey guys, did you see me? Did you see me? I was amazing. Alright, where's that where's that dude? Here he is. Hey, did you see me? What what's up there? What are you looking at? By the nine divines, you did it. You actually I won. did. You ain't so bad after all, Pit Dog. You may even survive enough matches to advance in rank. Ooh, advancing rank. Nice. All right. Thousands. Thousands of gold. Wait, what did I get? How much? I might have got 200, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's put our, our regular clothes back on. Our, our crappy regular clothes. All right. All right, we'll do another match later. How the hell do you get out of here? Uh, yep, there we go. Hey. All right. So what other trouble can we get into? This is the arena district, so probably you can't do anything here except arena. All right, and this is the what district? A green Emperor Way. Okay, right, right. This is just like transit area from one part of the city to another. Uh, we should probably put our weapons away so we don't look super aggressive. Where is this going to bring us? Market District. We already went in there. No, thank you. Uh, can I do my heal? Yes. There we go. Much better. I know I said I was going to stop after I did the arena fight, but I want to explore a little bit more. Elven Gardens, we have been here. Let's check it out. Apparently the bus just dropped off a few people. How about this guy? I think I have one. Ooh. <laughs> what is up with this? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, are you? Have a coin. You're welcome. How about some rumors? Up in the waterfront district, the Elena. It's a galleon, I think. Okay. Blessings of. What about you? Hey, dude, well, don't go walking away. Colonial got us good jobs gardening. We're very grateful. Okay. Doesn't anybody need help? Luther Broad's boarding house. King and Queen Tavern. All right, I think we're gonna check this out, and we'll call it call it a night. Whoa! Everybody stood up the second I walked in the door. Good to know. 
He's that Imperial Watch Captain that's always chasing after the Grey Fox. Oh, okay. So this Lex guy really wants the Grey Fox. The Thieves Guild probably doesn't exist. And it's a sure bet the Grey Fox doesn't either. Things have been very quiet with the Atlas. Hmm. That suits me just fine. All this I don't know what Atlas is. <laughs> okay. Alright, well they said the Fighters Guild could give us work. Where is the Fighters Guild though? Uh, bad Imperial City rumors. Dude, what I want is the Guild. Well, I think that's probably a good... Um, let's get a room. And that's probably a good thing for us to focus on next time, is let's try to find the Fighter's Guild. So, let's uh, let's ask for a room. Yeah. Sure. I'll take it. Last door on your right. I got it. This time I paid attention. Excuse me, people. You might You might want to get out of the way. Thank you. Yeah, I've been there. It's not that good. It's overrated. The Yelp score is very low. All right. Reasonably, let's close our door. Reasonably similar to our previous room. Uh, they leave us anything? Nope. Uh, can't steal any of this. Hey, the last one had food. This one doesn't. All right. I'm gonna. Let's see. What is it? One thirteen in the afternoon. I think I'm just gonna save. So this has been fun. This hour flew by very, very fast. Um, so that's going to do it for this first episode of Free Range Oblivion <laughs> with uh, Adenzia from Shades of the Sea. So um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you'll uh, come back for another episode. Stay safe. Take care of each other. And Z and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.